Well, hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rana Beer Review. We have a beer that we've had in the fridge for about a week. It's probably gone by now. You probably can't get it anymore, but we're still going to review it. It's from Silversmith, uh, which is a craft brewery that's going to be part of the Albino Rana Beer Tuber Ula Palooza. It is coming through the rye, robust rye porter. It's 7% alcohol by volume. There's a little neck tag. There's the bottle label. It is best before... Wow. Uh, February 19th, 2014. It is January 2nd. So we're on this quite early. Uh, I don't remember even when it was bottled. Alrighty, look at that. Isn't that a pretty beer, guys? It's a pretty porter. Look at that porter. Beautiful, beautiful mocha head. Beautiful, beautiful dark, dark color. Um, deep, deep, deep brown. It's not black. I mean, it looks black, but it's a deep brown. Uh, looks beautiful. A rye porter. Now, I love my rye PAs. I love my Rogan beers. Uh, I, I love rye in beer. I love rye, period. Um, let's let's sniff it out, shall we? Let's sniff this out. Mm. Oh, nice. A little touch of chocolate. A beautiful deep roast, almost smoky roast. The rye's coming out. Uh, it almost smells like there's some caraway in it, some caraway seed. Uh, chocolate, roastiness, and caraway, rye. It's all there. It's beautiful. It smells awesome. It's 7% alcohol. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Let's try it. Cheers. Nice, robust beer. I know robust is in the title, so I didn't want to use that as, a, as the descriptive word, but that's what it is. It's a robust beer. There is a beautiful, beautiful heaviness to it. It's thick, it's creamy, it fills your mouth. It's there, it's doing its thing. You get an underlying taste of roast. I shouldn't even say underlying. There's a... I guess it is underlying. I mean, it lasts the whole time. It does. From the moment it touches your tongue till the end, it's it's there and you're getting a roastiness, but it is underlying. It's underlying underneath the rest of the flavors. You are getting rye. You're getting a lot of rye. You are getting... Excuse me. A luscious toffee flavor. You are getting a slight coffee flavor, which is coming along with the roast. Um... And almost a sweet alcoholic taste in there too. And I know I don't normally like to feel or taste the alcohol, but it seems to mix in this very well. Uh, rye. And toffee. Um, rye, toffee, coffee. Roast. That sweet alcohol. And what's that last one?
Baker's chocolate. That's what it tastes like. Last taste is Baker's chocolate for me. Um, this is a porter I can get behind. I can really get behind this porter, but I love porters. Um, if you like the Silversmith Black Lager, this might be too much for you. However, if you love the Silversmith Black Lager, you can still get behind this. Uh, I say that because this has a much more robust roastiness to it. it has a much more in-your-face bitterness from the roast. Uh, actually, as I'm talking, there's like a vanilla taste emanating up my throat, uh, as well as an alcohol burn. There actually is an alcohol burn on it at 7% alcohol, but that's probably good because this beer is so smooth that without that alcohol burn, you could fuck yourself up on it. Um, really, the only thing to take points away from this with is that alcohol burn, but I don't hate that alcohol burn. So that being said, this is a great beer. If Silversmith makes this again, pick it up. If they still have some, pick it up. If you know somebody that has a bottle, try and do a share with them, as in you drink some of it with them. Uh, easily an 8.75 out of 10. It would have been a 9, a 9 to a 9.5 with, without that alcohol burn. Uh, this is a great rye porter. I think it's the first rye porter I've had, in all honesty, and the rye just makes this porter so much better. It makes it almost into the stout world for me, and that's great. Uh, I love the beer. I love what they've been doing. Go and get some. Don't go and get some. Who cares? Whatever. You do whatever you want to do, but Silversmith, you keep making stuff like this. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful time. Bye.